Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. Today, I am making a special treat. Have a fun little wine and paint night thing that I do usually once a year with my sister and my mom, sometimes my daughter when she can come. And I like to make a little treat. I usually am the one to take the wine. Imagine that. Today, I am going to be making pumpkin donuts. But I am going to do this in a very simple two ingredient way. I just need a yellow cake mix, whatever brand you choose, doesn't matter, just needs to be a yellow cake mix, and one can of pumpkin. You do use the whole can of pumpkin. You can add some spices to this if you would like. You know, like what you would add to uh, a pumpkin pie. So like pumpkin pie spice, you could add nutmeg, ginger, whatever you would like. Or you can just leave it like this. And mix it up. That looks pretty well mixed. To make this easier to put into my little donut pan, I'm gonna transfer this into this piping bag. I just sprayed this with some Pam cooking spray. I'm just gonna start squeezing the batter. I only want this about uh, maybe a third full. Something like that. I'm gonna have to refill my piping bag. I got them all filled. I do still have a bit of batter left. I don't, I don't know if I'll get six out of that. Maybe four, eh, maybe six, we'll see. I did tap these down to try to get rid of some of this swirl that's in there, but it's fine even if they come out swirly, I don't care. You know how I am, as long as they taste good. So this goes in the oven, uh, preheated 400 for eight to 10 minutes. I will probably go with the eight and see where they're at after that. I will bring you back when I get ready to start making the icing and once these are done and ready to be iced. I was gonna bring you back after I got them all done, but I had to show you this. So, uh, because I had them all kind of swirly, they actually look like little pumpkins on this side. Of course, you know, the other side's going to have that, whatever you call that fluted, I think, look. But that cracked me up. I pulled them out and I'm like, oh, they look like pumpkins. Is that not the cutest? While my donuts are cooling, I need to mix up a frosting slash glaze. I want something that won't just soak right into the donuts. They are very uh, fluffy, I guess you'd say. So I'm thinking that they're gonna, they're gonna soak up anything that's not nice and thick, but I don't wanna actually frost them either. So I'm gonna try to do this without getting it like too runny or really too extremely thick. So I'm just going to start with a half a cup of powdered sugar and I'm going to mix in, this is about a half, or I'm sorry, a fourth a cup of butter. I'm going to try half of that or about half of that and I'm only going to add just a very, very small amount of half and half and a very, very tiny amount of vanilla. And I am gonna sprinkle in whoop, more cinnamon than I wanted, I think, but that's fine. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna try to mix this all up and hopefully it comes out to the consistency I want. Go ahead and put the rest of this butter in here, I think. Start with that. Fortunately, even the small batch recipes that I found for like a buttercream type frosting is still just 
really too large for what I want. I'm kind of wanting to just drizzle, not completely cover. That's still a little thicker, I think, than I want. So I think I'm just going to add a smidge bit of half and half. Don't want to do too much because it doesn't take much to get it to thin out. See, it's already quite a bit thinner than what it was and I just barely put a dribble in there. I think that may work. I have a a little uh, a little drizzler tool that I use. Aren't they cute? I just love how they look like little pumpkins. All right, I'm going to start drizzling. Oh, and as you can see, that bat that uh, batter recipe actually did uh, a full dozen. Well, I think those just turned out too cute. Okay, let's give this a little bit of a taste. Now, pumpkin isn't usually my my favorite flavor for anything. Well, they're really good. I'm not an extreme pumpkin pumpkin flavor like a you know like a piece of pumpkin pie. It's a little more subtle than that. But it is there. And I think the cinnamon icing works really well. That's really pretty good. Great, easy recipe. If you need something kind of quick, if you need, you know, something to take for Thanksgiving, maybe you're just not a big cook you don't like to maybe or whatever this is so simple that I totally suggest this for anybody to make and you can get creative with it which is fun you could use a caramel drizzle on these I think that would be really good too thanks so much for watching happy eating